Hello fabulous fourth graders. This is Mrs. Armstrong and I am here to welcome you to our first flip video of our second math unit. This math unit will focus on addition and subtraction. Um, our I can statement for this video is going to be I can add multi-digit numbers up to six digits. Uh, the six digits part really is what is different from third grade. Just like we did with place value, we're going to add a few digits on, but that should be no problem. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump and start this adding. We have a couple numbers here. Uh, our first number is 432,683 plus 51,000 876. You'll notice that this first number here is a six digit number and our second number is a five digit number. And that makes a, it's really important when we line these up that we line up the places together. So I'm going to show you this before we do our calculations. And what I want you to notice is that the numbers in the ones place at or line up, the numbers in the tens place line up, the numbers in the hundreds place line up, thousands place, ten thousands place, and hundred thousands place. You'll notice that there is not a number in front of the five because fifty one thousand eight hundred seventy six only goes to the ten thousands place and that is totally okay but we need to make sure if we're going to get an accurate sum that our places are lined up so let's go ahead and do this addition three plus six is nine eight plus seven is fifteen so we put the five which is in the ones place below the seven and we regroup the one in the hundreds place. One plus six is seven, seven plus eight is 15. Same thing, we need to regroup to the thousands place. One plus two is three, three plus one is four. We can't forget to put our comma. We don't need to regroup here, and three plus five is eight, and four plus zero is four. So our sum, which is the answer to an addition problem, is 484,559. So there's an example for you. This next problem, you are going to set up on your own 396,458 plus 34,156. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video right now and you can set up this problem and add those two numbers together. After you've done your calculations, go ahead and hit play and we'll go through the solution um, together here on the video. Okay, so we have 396,458 plus 34,000 156. 8 plus 6 is 14. We have to regroup the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. Regroup into the hundreds place. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. We don't have to regroup to the thousands place. 6 plus 4 is 10. We need to regroup again. 1 plus 9 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, regroup, 1 plus 3 is 4. So your sum should have been 430,614. If you didn't get this answer, go back and check and see um, where you might have made a mistake and go ahead and correct that. All right, our next step on is we are going to focus uh, a lot in this unit on word problems. 
So we'll go ahead and read this one out loud. We're going to highlight important information and then we're going to do the calculations. The distance across Lake Somerset is 23,587 feet. The distance across Lake Ashkash is 67,377 feet. What is the total distance across both lakes? So I'm going to go back here and highlight the important information. We need to know, okay, the numbers that we're going to use. And this word total, that word lets us know that we are going to use the math operation of addition. So it asks us, what is the total distance? That tells us we're going to add those numbers. So let's do it. 23,587 feet plus 67,377 feet. 7 plus 7 is 14. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. Regroup to the hundreds place. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Regroup. 1 plus, oh, actually, I don't have to regroup. I hope you caught that. Um, we're going into the thousands place. 3 plus 7 is 10. Regroup to the ten thousands place. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. So 90,964 feet. And because it is a word problem, we do need to label our answers. Okay, so let's go ahead and you can try this one on your own. The distance across South Lake is 37,543 feet. The distance across Wolf Lake is 45,437 feet. What is the total distance across both lakes? Again, try this one on your own. See what the important information is, what the question is asking you to do, what math operation, and go ahead and solve it. Hit pause and solve this on your own and we will come back together and make sure everybody is good to go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight important information. 37,543 feet, 45,437 feet, and it's asking for the total distance, so I know I need to add. We'll do this. So 3 plus 7 is 10. We do regroup. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. We don't have to regroup to the hundreds place. 5 plus 4 is 9. No regrouping needed. 7 plus 5 is 12. We do need to regroup to the ten thousands place. One plus three is four, four plus four is eight. So our total distance across both lakes is 82,980 feet. Again, if you didn't get the same answer, um, go ahead and go back and check your, check your math and see what you can fix. All right, this is our last uh, skill that we're going to introduce today. This skill is going to involve us looking at a data table to do some addition problems. This data table says, gives us information about the number of people visiting the zoo and on the day of the week. So the question that you're going to hear, this question isn't going to be written down, so you need to listen closely is what is the total number of people who visited the zoo on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday? Now, we're going to have to use three numbers 
for this calculation. And I'm going to do this in two steps. So my first step, we're going to take 4,238 people who came on Monday and 6,167 people who came on Wednesday and asked us to find the total so we know we have to add. So 4,238 people plus 6,167 people. Same routine, A plus 5 is 15, regroup to the tens. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, regroup to the hundreds. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, we don't need to regroup. And 4 plus 6 is 10. So we had 10,405 people come on Monday and Wednesday. Then we're going to take this sum right here, <coughs> the sum that we got, and we're going to add the number of people who came on Friday. So let's go. 5 plus 5 is 10. 1 plus 4 is 5. No need to regroup. 4 plus 9 is 13. Regroup to the thousands. 1 plus 5 is 6. And 1 plus 0 is 1. So we had 16,350 people visit the zoo on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right. You're going to do this next one. Um, and you're going to use the same data table. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my calculations here. And while I'm doing that, you are going to calculate the total number of people who visited the zoo on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Go ahead and do that now. Um, pause the video. Make those calculations. I do recommend that you do a two-step process, and then we'll check back in. Go ahead and do that. So here we go. On Tuesday, we had 6,544 people visit the zoo. On Thursday, we had 3,549 people visit the zoo. 4 plus 9 is 13. 1 plus five, 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 5 plus 5 is 10. Regroup the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10,093 people. All right, we're going to take this sum and add our number from Friday to it, 5,949, or excuse me, 45. 3 plus 5 is 8. 9 plus 4 is 13. Regroup the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Plus 9 is 10. Regroup the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, and 1 plus 0 is 16. So we had a total of 16,038 people come to the zoo on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Again, if you didn't get these uh, same totals, go back and see where you might have made a mistake and see if you can fix that. Now, finally, for our last problem of the day, here's your riddle, your joke. And it is, what do you get from a pampered cow? If you think you can come up with that answer, share that with Mrs. Sullivan, Mrs. Smothers, or myself when we go over our video at school. And don't forget to do your whisk, um, your where and when, your summary, and any questions that you have. Thanks, and we'll see you at school.